<laughs> You're good. Just keep going. You got it? Yeah, it's good to get it. All right, Bob here from Bobby Trey Painting. We're going to show you how to patch a hole in drywall. This hole here is from a phone jack. A lot of people are getting rid of these these days, obviously, just keeping um, their cell phones. So we're getting rid of this. We're getting rid of cable jacks. We're getting rid of what else? Mostly phone. Yeah. So anyway, step one is to uh, clear out your hole. This one had this this uh, thing in it. It was like a little box to secure everything. So we, we took this out. We tucked the phone wires back, taped them off so they're not a hazard anymore. And uh, now we got to cut a piece of drywall, half inch thick, which is what most of these houses are made of, half inch drywall. Um, we'll cut a hole to fit there and we'll put it in. So I got lucky today. This is the exact size that we're going to need. So I'm just going to trace this thing. How are we going to do this? We'll do the inside of it, I guess, on the corner here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get something to fill the majority of the hole. So that should be good. Um, where's my drywall saw? Now we'll take our drywall saw and we'll cut this guy out. You're going to get a lot of dust, so make sure you keep a drop cloth down or plastic. And these drywall saws can be sharp, so don't cut your hand off. Now it's clearly not a circle. We need to shave it off a little bit. This is usually trial and error, so let's see if our circle will fit. And it looks like it will pretty good. The other thing we want to do is clean up these edges here. There's a lot of frayed drywall. It'll make our job look cleaner if we get rid of some of this stuff here. Make sure you have a sharp knife. Mine could be a little sharper. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the next thing we need to do is get a backing to drill our our patch into. So usually we just use paint sticks if we have them on hand. I mean we're painters so uh, they're usually available. Now this is going to be too big to stick behind there so I'll just take one of these, break it in half, get my drywall screws. And these are just one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch drywall screws. <clears throat> we'll slide this back here. And make sure behind there's nothing in the way of your base here. And this is a tight spot so it's a little tricky but this should be good. If I can get my finger out of here. All right, let's try that. Now you want to make sure you hold this, and I always use an impact driver because it really gets the screw in there, and that's in there. We'll do one more. For a bigger hole, you might have to do a few of these, or something small like this. This is good. So now we'll screw it into that. Sometimes you got to pilot a hole too because all your stuff will just break apart when you um, screw into it. Let's hope that doesn't happen here. Okay, perfect. So now <clears throat> there's a million ways to do this the way we like to do it, and it works, so we just keep going with it. Take some uh, paintable caulk. Squeeze it in here, and this will prevent your your patch from cracking. If you don't do this and you just fill it with joint compound, there's a good chance it will uh, it'll crack. 
This stuff's pretty flexible. So I'll smooth this out. And then our final step is to get some joint compound and just put a little bit on. You're going to have to do a few coats. This is just the first one. You usually end up doing three. And each coat, you got to kind of fan out bigger and bigger. This is a four inch knife. I'll put it on with a four inch knife. And then usually clear everything with a six. Make sure you don't have any heavy edges. And make sure you get it in there pretty good. All right, so that's it. Um, that's step one. Step two is a second coat. A third coat is a step three. I sand it and then you can paint it. You know, prime it and paint it and you're good to go. All right, for Bobby Trey Painting, I'm Bob. Say you patch a drywall hole.